computer world. I think I was playing a SpongeBob game, but I can't tell. There was this SpongeBob game I loved. Um, but yeah, born in Ohio, 1994, August 3rd. 2004 slash 2005. I'll say 2004, 2005 because Naruto came out in America. <laughs> FLCL, Samurai Champloo. This all came out 2004. Kingdom Hearts 2. Yes. <laughs> um, it was crazy. LimeWire. LimeWire was still popping. So I had everything. <laughs> Probably more than I should have been exposed to, but I was exposed to it. So many viruses on this computer. <laughs> but uh, you know, I had, I had a good childhood, and very enriching with the uh, animation. And then, then I feel like it kind of it stopped. But hey, look, I think we're on a, you know, we're on the up and up. Animation's on the up and up. It's coming back, coming back strong. It's coming back real strong. There's a renaissance. It's 2004 all over again. 2020 is the new 2004. Beautifully <laughs> Animaniacs, written, directed, whatever by uh, Steven Spielberg. It's really great. There's a lot to be learned from that show. You should watch it. Um, very slept on. Cat Soup, one of my favorite shows, or not shows, um, short films. It really inspired Blue Coast. It's kind of like sort of um, based it, not based it off of, but I just got a lot of inspiration. Nikita Diakor. Very cool animator who also used dynamic animation. Keith Haring, big fan. Pokemon learned a lot, you know, just from like different styles, different aesthetics. Show you didn't have to just make something that was photorealistic or super anime or super whatever. Like I was in some form or another in my film, in every film, because this was the first thing that kind of made me some money and was like, man, like this is this is cool. Like I'm really on to something, kind of finding my own voice, and if you guys are you know, struggling, like what is my voice, what is my style, just keep creating and keep doing, just the more you create, the more you will gel into your voice. Like the more you try to talk, like when you first started talking, I was just like, ooh, ooh, got that? And then like, now you're out here writing <laughs> and shit, talking to people. Um, so, you know, you, you'll get there, and you might already be there, I don't know. And it, your, your style will probably always evolve but once you find something that works for you, just can have that be the stuff on your forefront like that you put out there, because people are gonna see it, and people are gonna be like, oh, yo, can you do that, but kind of like this? And if you're just doing what you think people like, and you don't really like it, people, well, they might assume like, oh, this person likes to do this, they're good at it, yeah, let's, let's, let's do this with them, but then you're like, fuck, this again, I'm tired of doing this type of shit. So like, if you wanna do more type of shit, like, put the type of stuff you wanna do out there and up front and then people will be like, Yes, I want it, I want I want I want that and I'll be like, Yeah, I like that. I like doing that. So you have gone over your heads. Like this was on the, one of the computer screens um in the clip that I showed of, of Blue Coast and it's like FBI pig and Cointel Pro and then, you know, this dismantled black cat and it's just, you know, talking about like how the you know, the FBI literally had a um uh, a a uh, mission to dismantle the Black Panther Party, mm -hmm. yeah. um, and you know they have all these missions, and they always talk about how oh yo like um, Martin Luther King was assassinated. Let's take this day to remember, but let's also take this day to remember that y'all assassinated him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's like he there wasn't just this wasn't some vigilante. It was like the CIA that was government it calculated, and you know these documents they're on the. FBI's website and or the CIA's website and the CIA literally in 2018 they just released all their their meddlings in Africa like from 1960 to the 1990s you know like it's public domain so you can look at it it's not just me being like the white man is trying to hold us back it's like yo, hey look y'all said it like I'm so <laughs> a lot of images so here instead of redoing the hands I just take it from a past model instead of redoing shoes I take it from a past model and I put it on there, boom, you know? Uh, next one, but I like this character, he's called the Oxy Cottontail. And I'll sort of <laughs> show you how I got to him, because it's kind of a process. I came up with this idea in China. Uh, next slide, please. And I went to Chengdu, and like, that's like in the Sichuan region, which is where all the, the pandas come from. 
So there was a lot of things I didn't understand in China. I don't speak Chinese. But one thing I did understand is Chinese people really are proud of the panda bear. Mm -hmm. And there's like the panda, especially in the Sichuan region, there's like pandas on street signs, pandas all over the place. I thought I took a bunch of pictures, but I guess I took a bunch of mental pictures. But I, it was it was so many pandas, and I just love the just I just love the imagery. So I, I like seeing these cartoon pandas all over the place. Now I, I saw a bunch of pandas, two very chill creatures, um, much like myself. They're, they're Leos as well. Every panda is a Leo because of their short mating period. Every time they're born. That's great. Yeah, and you know, like their, their short mating period makes it such that all pandas are born within like a two week span in August, making them Leo. So mm -hmm. I guess that's why we <coughs> identify with one another. <laughs> but that's just me, you know what I'm saying? If y'all are just want to do like aesthetics and stuff that is visually beautiful and that's all you want to do, that's cool, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't feel like you have to do something conceptual. And if you just want to be purely conceptual, just do something purely <coughs> conceptual. It doesn't have to be beautiful. You know, if you just want to open up a dialogue, but this is me, this is my practice, and you know, this is how I feel, and uh, you, you more than welcome to disagree with whatever I do, but at this point in, 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 in the, the game, I can say, bow, he's cool. He's part of the team now. He's part of the league. Um, and I'll introduce him to my universe and make a symphony of understanding and things of that sort. <laughs> I love to dance, and you might think like, what does this mean, why? Sometimes, it's a it's a political message, like just to be a black man in America and dancing, you know, everybody, sometimes, they, they, honestly, people don't want to see me shine, <laughs> and that makes me want to flex up on them even harder, <laughs> you know, anytime anybody talking down on you, flex up, if they're talking down, flex up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so this one is about to hit the streets hopefully in November. Keep your eyes peeled, iOS, Steam, uh, all that. Uh, I'm around trying to get a PlayStation sponsorship, but the, the ironically the name turns people off. <laughs> Even though behind closed doors it turns people off. Please, I just want to leave you with this, you know. Uh, stay inspired. Yeah. Do whatever, do whatever you want to do. Um, finish what you start. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, even with that Sonic character, I, I'll start some things and be like, man, why do I even do this? It looks stupid. I'm wasting my time. Let me scrap this. You should just finish what you start. It's good to finish whatever you start, just so you have a finished product in the end, and then come back to it the next day. And if it's bad, then be like, all right, scrap it. But at least you have a complete idea. And chances are, when you come back to it, you'll be like, "Damn, that was actually pretty cool," you know. So believe, you know, believe in yourself. And if you have a good idea, it's probably it's probably a good idea. Just finish it, and then always strive to be better. You know, like never get complacent unless you want to. I don't know, but there will always be somebody who will just come and you know be younger, sexier, faster, better, stronger. Da da da. It will, you know, if you're not continually growing, you you'll be obsolete. But if you're comfortable where you're at, I mean, fuck it. But I'm going to keep going. For sure. And then, yeah, don't be a creep. You know, I, I know a lot of guys. and uh, I mean, I guess girls, but it's usually guys. Use their influence. Just like, oh, yeah, come in my studio, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you like, whip your dick out. I mean, one, there's a time and a place. And two, if somebody's taking the time to visit your studio or, you know, even, like, just look you up and say, hey, your work is cool. You should cherish that because even if somebody's like, oh, I've seen your work, and they say, yeah, I really fuck with you, chances are they probably don't even have your name written down anywhere, and they'll forget the experience, and if you have somebody who actually fucks with you, and you you fuck it up, thinking with your dick or your badge, <laughs> you know, you're really, you're really fucking yourself up. So, I mean, just, just be up front um, with your intentions, and... Have fun, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, we could die tomorrow. You know? And if you're not doing what you want or what you believe in, then you're really playing yourself. So thank you, my name is Jeremy Braxton.